All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Fargo's Soul Mod. Today, we're back for, I don't know, maybe some more pain. And that's because yesterday, if you didn't get the chance to see it, we finally took down the champion of the cosmos, which I do believe makes us the new champion of the cosmos. I feel like that's a worthy title, definitely deserved. I mean, I've already got Champion of the Couch, all right? Got to build up that roster. Um, but with that being said, uh, we only got a very limited amount of crafting materials from the boss. So today, we've got more pain because we've got to grind out the fight some more. So just to explain it in case you did miss yesterday, um, this is what we got. We got these, the Lunar Crystals. So as you can see... Uh, to make a full set of armor, you need 15 of these Lunar Crystals, and we only got 5 of them. So here's what I'm thinking, right? I, I didn't know what to do. I wasn't too sure about how we'd skirt around this. So we've got 4 things available to craft, 4 potential wins that we need. We've already got 1 of them. And as you can see, we can make the Force of the Cosmos. And I think I'm actually going to do this, and I'll tell you why. Mainly because right now... I'm very much enjoying the Nebula Enchantment, and I'm also very much enjoying this one, the Solar Enchantment. This is great. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mash them both together, and then that way we free up an accessory slot, and we re-add the Berserker's Soul. Yesterday, in the comment section, there was very fierce debate about the accessories. A lot of people were like, I don't know about those choices, and I kind of get it. For example, people were like, well, if you swapped over to Solar Armor, you could have taken this one off. Now, do you actually get a double dash with Solar Armor? Or do you need the enchantment to get a double dash? I'll just be honest with you, I, I can't remember. Um, but that's why we were using it, basically. It was our dash. It wasn't anything more. It's just, it's a dash that also gives you a little bit of a defense boost. Now, if Solar Armor gives you a dash then that was a big mess up, all right? Not gonna lie. Anyway, um, so to make the, the thing, we do need the, the meteorite enchantment, but we can make one if we just make a meteor staff, and then we also go get a special painting from the sky, and then that way it's like super simple. So I think what we've got to do is we've got to bring the painter up into a floating island, and then he'll sell us the painting, maybe, Honestly, I'm not too sure how this works because I don't know if they need to, to live in the house or just be on the island. So let's check it out. All right, painter. Let's see. Are you selling the painting? Sky Guardian, that's not it. Uh, daylight. Uh, place above the clouds, that is it. Why are you dying? What are you dying from? What is it? Can you not breathe? <laughs> is that it? Can he not breathe? That poor painter. All right, I think, I think if we mash together... This and this, we can make uh, the meteorite enchantment. There you go. Bam. It's done. I really struggle to spell the word meteor or meteorite. I don't know why. I have to, like, really think about how I'm typing it. I don't know what that is. Mild dyslexia, most likely. Um, so, what was the, what was the accessory called again? I'm going to actually have to double check. <laughs> don't worry about it. Um... What was it called? Right. It's called the Force of the Cosmos. Okay, of course it is. I should have just remembered the word Cosmos. Okay, here we go. Force of the Cosmos. Bam. So it does a lot of good stuff, as you can see. Uh, I'll keep it on because it's got melee speed. And then do I need to enable any of the effects? Let's see. Well, I can double dash. So that probably means we're fine. Okay, so there we go. We're stronger. We've got the Nebula and Solar Enchantment mashed into one. We also have all the other stuff that comes with it. Baller, right. Now it's time for refights and plenty of them. Wait. Oh, that's different. So there's a new um, update to the mod today. And as you can see, uh, it's already slightly different because the, uh, the health bar is also slightly different. Wow. I'm surprised I didn't realize that, like, almost instantly. Because I did so many attempts of the fight yesterday. So it's like, you'd have thought I'd have learned it. But I think we're in for pain today, honestly, because yesterday, yesterday we won, but it was still really hard. Also, I want to know why. Oh, I think I did. I, no, I just figured it out. So yesterday, we ended up taking a mushroom instead of a health pot. And I was really confused as to why that was. A lot of you pointed it out in the comments. 
I had no idea that that was a thing. But I think it's because we ran out of potions. And I only have a potion now because we got one from the fight. All right, time for the vortex one. I got some tips about this. The tips were, James, you might be getting too close. So have they changed that a little bit? Because it looks slightly different. I might be wrong. Honestly, could be placebo, could not be. All right, let's not mess this up. I am messing this up a little bit. This is it. You win one fight, you come back the next day, and it's a lot harder. Is it slightly different? I feel like the punches are... There's fewer punches. I don't know. But then again, I can't imagine them changing the AI of this fight as we were mid-doing it. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's a pretty bold thing for me to say, actually. Because here's the thing. That implies that they only update the mods. Like, it... it I'm like, oh no, they'll update it around the series. They, they don't they don't actually do that. <laughs> Alright, okay. Uh ooh. I don't know if they've changed this, but I will say it looks nice. <laughs> it almost looks like the colours are different. So even if the attack isn't, the colours look slightly lighter. Or my brain is foggy, I don't know. So yesterday, yesterday, I was looking for um for a new game to play. I keep booting up <laughs> I tell you the truth, I keep booting up my PlayStation 5, right? I do it every day. And I look at it and I go, there's nothing I actually want to play. Like, nothing at all. Especially now that Ratchet and Clank is, is completed. And I was like, no, I'm finally going to play Uncharted 4. So I booted up Uncharted 4 just to, just to check it out. And then I sat there for seven hours. <laughs> I sat there for seven hours and played seven hours worth. I was like, what, what is this? Now, I don't talk about this very often, but I don't actually do that with games. Like, very rarely, other than Terraria, I won't sit and play a game for more than, like, two hours at a time. But yeah, seven hours. It was really good as well. I haven't finished it yet. I'll probably finish it up today if I've got another seven hours for it. So I'm a little bit of a zombie because of it. I'm just thinking about, you know, parkour and, and treasure and, and whatever else. My only problem with the Uncharted series, I've come to realize, is I get this anxiety that everything I touch is going to break. Because in the game, you'll go to climb something, it'll be like a metal pipe up a wall. And it'll break, right? And then sometimes it won't break. And then, and then other times you'll have four things break in a row. And they're always really loud when they break. So I just have this constant fear that everything around me that I touch is going to just snap in half. It's the curse of Nathan Drake. That's what the game sh should be about. But it's quite funny, because in this fourth one, they keep referencing this fact that everything he touches breaks. Right. Wait, there's more moons. What? You changed- you did change the fight. Oh no, please no. Oh, this is now even harder. So is it harder because we've already beaten it the once, or is it harder because they changed it? Honestly, no idea. I think the nebula one is way more fair, though. I'll give you that. I like the, the change to the nebula one. Right, so final phase once again, uh, slightly different. I really don't know if it's because it's a refight or what. Um, now nah, I'm going to say they definitely changed it with the update, actually. Um, all right, so we just got to be a bit more careful. With the added extra moon, you do really have to, to think about your movement, which we're not doing a very good job of at all. We're actually doing a very terrible job, and I do feel like we'll probably end up losing this one. We are awfully close. But this is really tense. Please just die already. And there we go. It's dead. Thank... Thank the heavens. Thank the cosmos. Um... <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I... Coming into today, that would have been like... I would never have expected a change to that boss. Um... I'm glad that we fought the original. And I'm glad that we fought the new version, honestly. I feel like, um... In terms of, like, bragging rights and all that. That puts us... At a pretty good level, if you know what I mean. Only because if they'd have changed it and made it easier. Alright, I'd have felt like, oh no. <laughs> I'd have been like, they do not they do not think I am worthy. Um, so yeah, uh, two more refights and potential wins. And then we should be good to make the new armor, which I'm very excited about. Now I just want to say this. I don't know if they changed the solar attack. The one I was complaining about uh, in yesterday's episode. Um, so, <laughs> this is good because it'll make me sound like a clown if not. I think they have changed it. I wouldn't put money on it. But it seems like it's the, the projectiles are slightly smaller. And I feel like it's a bit fairer. Now, on the flip side of that, they could have not changed it. And I just got better overnight. Do you know what I mean? But watch this. 
I, that's smaller, right? I mean, I'm getting hit by it because I'm, you know, thinking about it. But I, I definitely think that's different. So that's a good change. Happy with that. Um, but yeah, let's got to focus on the refights now. Right. So final phase again. Uh, let's see. Man, the, the moons are real. <laughs> it's weird because it makes you move a lot faster. So I would say it's, well, it's harder because there's an extra moon. But yeah, it forces you to move much faster. Because if you stop and try and aim yourself for, say, the vortex one, you will die. <laughs> Okay, we're probably going to die on this one. I know it. Oh, no, we're, we're getting a little bit close. We're getting a bit close. Maybe if I squeak something, I might get by. Come on, just die already. Just die. Just die. Come on. There we go. All right. <laughs> we, there, <laughs> we traded blows, but it was worth it. It was worth it. Right. One more refight to go, and then we get to make the super awesome armor, which I'm very pumped about. It's also nice to get more enchantments. Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a change. I think you get more enchantments from uh, all of the the fights and such. So it makes it less of a grind. And honestly, I can I can dig it. I don't think that's overpowered at all. You know, it, it just cuts down the amount of fights, and I think that's good because you've already beaten them. Do you know what I mean? You've already beaten them. So yeah, I can't wait for the the grinding session now. Weirdly. <laughs> Just because it'll be a little bit easier to all the champions and touch. But like I'm gonna do like I've said this before, but this was recommended. Uh, we are gonna do the grinding sessions um, after we've done Abomination. Only because that's what's been recommended. Everyone's like, wait until you get the the material the crafting material from Abomination, and then grind out all your enchantments and stuff like that. But I do think in terms of grinding and stuff, we're on a really good path because I did I've been doing a good amount like off camera in between episodes or just like bits that get cut out of episodes that you lot don't see like usually if i'm grinding for something i'll stick around in the biome for a really long time and that does help to um to yeah to, to get um just you know materials and all that all right so once again final phase let's see if we can do it uh this will be the final time we ever have to do it if we win so just try keep that in mind this is my inner monologue. <laughs> it's my motivational words. I'm going to put that on the poster. <laughs> okay, all right. Come on. Come on. We can do this. I believe. Do you believe? Everything we've learned so far comes down to this. And do you know what I've learned? Honestly, don't die. Just don't die. It's how I'm here today. 24 years of this. Lifelong lesson. There we go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's done. It's done. I'm proud. I am proud. <laughs> I'm very proud, in fact. Um, so, I tell you what, I'm going to flog all of these. I don't even need them. I don't even need them. No, nah, just flog them. How much they flog for? <laughs> Eight gold. Eight gold. Uses a full set of armor. Eight gold. <laughs> Fargo will not give me the moolah. Right. So, uh, what's this armor set called, then? So, it's called Eridanus. Battle plate, Eridanus hat, and Eridanus leg wear. Right, so what we're going to have to do for this is we are going to have to do a little bit of reading. Because you lot did say there's a learning curve with this armor. So we need to learn it. I think as well, if I remember right, this update also apparently changes the uh, buff with this. Yeah, 30% increased damage. I think before, to make a guess, I think it was... 20. Max life reduced by 20%. Let's let's actually activate it real quick. Is that right? Anyway, I think I think they changed it. Anyway, so what's this one called? Eridanus. Eridanus. Okay. Bam. Chest piece. Hat. Okay. Take it. And finally, the leggings. Ooh, we fancy. Okay. So let's change the time of day. Alright, let's make it let's make it daytime. Why is this world always raining at the minute? <laughs> Does anybody know why? This world always seems like it's it's so miserable now. Uh, cancel event. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, let's swap it all over. So 88 defense. Move it over. We have 108. Okay, right. Let's, let's have a little read. So set bonus. The blessing of Eridanus. <laughs> I, I know I'm pronouncing that wrong. Probably. Empowers your attacks. The empowered class changes every 20 seconds. 
Eridanus fights alongside you when you use the empowered class. 20% increased damage for the... Wow, okay, so, sorry. 50% increased damage for that class. 20% uh, improved weapon use speed. So, this means... This means we have to swap weapon as we go and have a full loadout. So, this is obviously mage. And then... Does it change visually other than the, the little timer around you? I want to know. So, anyway, we need to grab... Um, Presumably the the big stinger, so we want the we want the big stinger. Awesome. Uh, we've got a melee weapon that we can use, which will probably be the uh, sword. We have a summoner weapon as well. I can see why you say learning curve with this now. So we got that as well. And then what was the the final one? The mage one. The mage one is the flesh, the upgraded thing to that. I just can't remember what it's called. Um. Let me flick through. I'll find it. But this is cool, though. This is really cool. I think the ones I'll struggle with the most is I always get confused between the color for summoner and the color for... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, my God. The gun is almost bigger than the hungry it gives now. Okay, awesome. Right, yeah. I always get confused between Vortex and Stardust. So which one's that one? Is that summoner? Honestly, no idea. Oh, this is going to be so interesting. Okay, let me... <laughs> let me swap to this. Alright. So, which one's this one? Nebula. Okay, right. So, what we'll do is we'll put them in order. And we'll go Nebula first. So, that's definitely Nebula. This is so fun. I, sorry, I'm so excited. I'm, I'm kind of killing time, though. Because I kind of want to see what the, the next one is. And then we'll do the Abomination. And then I just want to keep them in order. Okay, what is that? I honestly, I really struggle to tell. Is that Stardust? I'll tell you what I can do. I can have a little look at the fragments. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, no, sorry. It's on weapons. Okay, so that is Stardust. So it goes Nebula, then Big Brain, then Solar, then Ranger. Okay, cool. I know some people wouldn't be that confused by that. But yeah, Small Brain and all that. So that does mean when we do this fight, it will be time to start merging some of these because we don't necessarily need these more empowered versions. Okay, so uh, wh what is it we need? All right, Abomination Summoning Device. So this is, yeah, okay, let's begin. All right, the only problem with this is we have to aim. So I'm, I'm quite interested to see how we're going to do against this one. So we'll just have to keep it chill. I don't know if anything has been changed. Okay, so now it's... Uh, oh, <laughs> now it's Mage. Wow, the learning curve is actually kind of steep with this. I might actually have to turn off the, the Terror Force enchantment now. It's almost a little bit uh, too much, actually. Because of the fact that um, it's it makes everything large. It's, it's kind of awful. Right, so this is Summoner now. So we get a big Summon out. Right? I think that's how it works. And we have it targeted. Am I doing this right? I think so. Why are you not attacking? Oh, it is attacking. It's just attacking very slowly. Alright, so now it's Warrior. Which is obviously going to be our best one yet. I, I love this, but I also hate it at the same time. Only because it requires so much uh, swapping. Does it automatically turn off your summon? Oh, it does! Or I think it does. That's really neat. Alright, so then it's back to Ranger. Yeah, this is cool. Got feeling here. They've changed Abomination. I think so. Or I'm just not doing as much damage as I thought I would. Because all my enchantments are kind of for, uh, for a different class. That could honestly be very true. Alright, so now it's back to, to Mage. Okay, oh no, so we're in the second phase, so it's not actually that different. I, I, for real, cannot see what I'm avoiding. I'm just literally moving about, thinking more about my, uh, my weapon than anything else. Which is a real big problem. You've got to really be able to, to multitask with this one. Alright, five. I can't change, uh, thing, because it's kind of locked me out. Okay, um. For Christ! What is that? Oh, no. I think 
that's like trying to rub your uh, belly and pat your head. Actually, do you know what? I might try it again, but I might turn off the Terra Force enchantment. Let me turn, yeah, let me turn that off. The thing is, we, we, I might keep it because I quite like it sucking in all the nebula enchantments. And that's kind of sick because that gives us a, a really big damage boost. But I think having smaller weapons might actually help out a little bit. Let me try this again and see if I can learn a little bit more about it. Yeah, I would say using this is, is probably actually the way to go. There is a clear damage boost as we use this. Okay, so now it's a... Uh... Oh, wrong one. It's that one. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had them all organized and now, I, now I'm not even doing it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just keep trying this again and uh, and hopefully trying to, to learn the armor. I do think I'll be able to get it eventually. Uh, there are some clear benefits to using it. Our damage is higher. Um, our defense is higher as well. So if I can just nail swapping them over and nailing how to, to dodge, then it's going to be such a, a sick combination. Like, I feel like this is the way it is meant to be, you know? So I've kind of just got to get used to it. The only thing is, swapping is, is really annoying in this fight. Because you keep getting that uh, debuff that stops you from swapping your weapons and such. But this is going alright. This is going alright. The damage is clearly better than using single class melee though. So that's good to see. Like it feels rewarding. I wouldn't want to use it if it didn't feel like super rewarding to use. Okay. And I like that it cancels out uh, summons and stuff like that. I think that's great. Its attacks do seem different than when I fought it the other day, though. I don't know if this is another one that might have actually been changed. Alright, back to Solar. This is really cool. It's like taking the, the part of the mod that's the most uh, unique, you know, with the Moon Lord and such. And just making it its own armor set. It's really cool. Well, I mean, we've already... Ca no, wait. No, alright. <laughs> I was going to say, we've kind of already done this, but we haven't, have we? We had an armor set that just worked for all classes. Pretty much. Alright, oh. Gotta gotta learn to swap at the right times. That was a big tip I got with the Moon Lord, actually. People are like, if you swapped a little bit more actively, you would have a better time. Okay, so we're coming into second phase, I imagine. I mean, this is where things get really, really crazy. So this is what we gotta get better at. But I do feel like this one will be... And I've said this about other fights. Once again, it'll be like, you've gotta be a bit more uh, adaptive. You've got to learn to shift your focus and stuff during this fight, I think. Okay, man, this nebula phase seems to go forever. <laughs> okay, uh... I don't know if we're going to get any heals in any time soon. Oh yeah, it's back to Stardust, sorry. <laughs> so it is, it's unique to learn. There was that big cross attack. Ooh! Ooh, okay. Wow, that is difficult. <laughs> so in that phase, you have to... You have to circle around... And avoid the holy demon scythes. What? <laughs> so I will say, I am really pleased that reliably we can make it to uh, to the second phase. So if you do have any big tips for this phase, do let me know if there's something like obvious that I'm missing. My gut feeling is that the biggest tip is just, alright, let's get better at dodging. Which is totally understandable. If that's the tip that you need to say, just say it. It's alright. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, we want to move up and down during these? So there are definitely things to learn. I think that's the maybe the biggest mindset I've got to get into is, okay, there are things to... Uh, okay, see that one, it goes one way and then the other way. We need to remember that. All right, so we want to go this way this time. There we go. All right. So that's the first time I've successfully done it. And it does it... T oh, what is that? What is that? Oh my God. All right, I need to swap. Okay, so I don't know what what was that about. <laughs> so I gotta learn that. But I've learned the sword attack now, and that's the first major one. And then it seems like I'm assuming it has these big bold attacks every now and again. But then in the middle of that, it's like scythes and my heart is racing. That was incredible. I really enjoyed that little phase. Okay, right. I'm gonna. I'll probably make this my final one for today. Um, but I'm. I'm digging Abomination. I gotta say it. I'm. I'm digging it. It's cool. I'm gonna be really proud of this one when I beat it. I know it. This is the kind of one that 
it's going to require a little bit of training, but it's going to be worth it. Ooh, okay. So, <laughs> that's the furthest we've got. But I'm learning. This is fun. I like this saga. Weirdly, I do. I like it. So, I think that'll probably do it for today's episode. Um, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is great. I don't know what it is about Abomination, but I'm just like, nah, that's a cool boss. That is a cool boss. Right. So, um, so I think that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, remember, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, giving it a big fat thumbs up goes a long way. Shout out to our channel members, as always. If you want to become a channel member, get your name in the credits. Uh, you can click the join button on the channel page, or there's a, like a link down below. Um, but yeah, that's it, right? Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. And yeah, peace. <laughs>